we have to find the centroid of this inverted T section. For this we measure it with respect to this coordinate axis. That is the origin, that is the x axis and this is the y axis. To, and the distance is given by, this length is given by 50 unit. This length is given by 150 unit. This is 50 unit. And this length is 150 unit. So obviously this length is 150 minus 50. That is this length minus this length. That is 100 unit. Now to find the centroid of this section we have to separate it in two rectangular bar that is in two shape that is like this. This is two rectangle and named is as A2 and this is as A1. Now we get two rectangle. Now first of all for A1 the center of mass is located of A1 at the this point. This is the intersection point of the diagonal of the rectangle so it is at the middle point of the rectangle so for a1 x1 is given by the middle point of total length along x that is 150 by 2 that is 150 by 2 that is equal to 75 and for y1 that is the middle of 50 that is this point so 50 by 2 that is equal to 25 and the area a1 is given by 50 into 150 that is 150 into 50 that is equal to 7500 unit square now for a2 for this rectangle we take the center mass is located at this point and take this as x2 y2 this is the middle point of the rectangle so for a2 x2 is equal to this this length and this is 150 by 2 because this length by 2 so it will be 150 by 2 that is 75 unit now for y2 here y2 is this total length is y2 now we first measure this length that is this length that is 100 by 2 because this is the middle point of this first second bar so 100 by 2 plus this length this plus this length this is 50 so 50 thus we get total y with respect to the x axis and the area is given by 100 into 50 5000 ok now we can easily find the centroid of this total inverted T section that is the coordinate is given by x bar comma y bar of the centroid so x bar is equal to sum over i x i y x i a i by sum over i a i that is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 by a1 plus a2 now we have to just put the value like here a1 is 7500 that is 7500 and value of x1 is 75 plus value of a2 that is 5000 and value of x2 that is 75 by a1 plus a2 that is 7500 plus 5000 and after calculation you get this value as 75 unit and now for y bar that is equal to 
some over i y i e i by some over i e i that is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 by a1 plus a2 now put the value of these terms like here a1 is 7500 value of y1 is 25 plus value of a2 is 5000 and value of y2 that is 100 now a1 plus a2 is 7500 plus 5000 and after calculation you get this value as 55 unit thus we get the coordinate point of the centroid that is 75 comma 55 with respect to the x y axis now we have to locate this point that will be like 75 along x that is this and that is 75 comma 55 this point can be taken as the centroid of this inverted t section